thanks for joining me for Dynamic Power. My name is Ken, health fitness specialist at Minor Bedford. So for today's workout, you're gonna need a pair of dumbbells and a kettlebell. Uh, if you don't have a kettlebell, a uh, dumbbell will work just fine in place. Uh, yeah, so hopefully you have that equipment ready to go. Uh, it's gonna warm up now. We're gonna jog in place for one minute. Let's start that up in three, two, one. Here we go, just bouncing back and forth. And of course, if the weights you have are too heavy for the movements given for today's workout, feel free to take a break after a few reps. Don't let your form get too sloppy. Use your best judgment, keep it on the safe side. We got 30 more seconds, then we're switching to high knees. All right, in three, two, one, you're gonna pump those arms, get those knees nice and high. If you don't wanna jump, just marching in place, driving those knees up, going for 30 seconds. Got like 10 more. Three, two, one, all right, air squats for 30 seconds. Here we go, feet shoulder width apart. Back on those heels. Squeeze your butt on the way up. We're getting nice and low, stretch out your hips at the bottom of your squat. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, single leg deadlift. You're gonna do five on each leg. All right, so start with your left leg down, right leg up. Drive that right foot to the ceiling. As that leg goes up, everything else will come down. Get a nice stretch. Five each side. Once you get five each leg, give me some arm circles. Check out the workout. Arm circles, about 10 forward, 10 backwards. Make, make them as big as you want. So let's get, get our equipment ready, right? You're gonna want kettlebell or a dumbbell for number one, single arm swings. Then you're gonna need uh, two dumbbells for our third exercise. It's gonna be a lunge, curl, overhead press. You're gonna want something a little lighter Ideally, you would want something a little lighter than what you're swinging, right? But use what you got. I understand not everyone has perfect selection of weights, right? So for your swing, we're doing single arms. Right, so you're gonna have your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna have your dumbbell or your kettlebell in between your legs. And this movement, uh, it's a hip hinge. So you're pushing your butt back for the wall behind you. Of course, you're keeping that back flat as your hips go back, right? Then you're gonna powerfully thrust those hips forward and the momentum you generate with your hips and legs, that's what's gonna get the weight up, right? It'll look like this in full speed. Pop those hips, all right, push that butt back, then push those hips forward. As the hips come forward, squeezing your glutes, right? 
Now, if I were to only use my arm, right, I could bang out a few reps, but it'd be really tough, right? But if I get my legs into it, I get my hips, my glutes, I can do it all day. Well, not all day, just 30 seconds, right? 30 seconds on each arm, right? And if you're using a dumbbell, it's the same thing. So look like this, right? Number two, hip thrust, pulse. We're pulsing. You want to elevate your shoulders on your couch or your chair, whatever's nearby. So hips all the way up. Squeeze those glutes. We're just pulsing, right? Small range of motion. Squeeze in your butt as much as you can at the top of the, at the, top of the move. And our third one. We're doing a lunge, curl, and overhead press. So, like I said earlier, you want something lighter for this one. So two dumbbells, one dumbbell in each hand. Step forward for your lunge. Both knees at about 90 degrees. Pause down here. Curl, overhead press, bring them back down and come back, all right? So hold it down, nice and low, curl, overhead, then come back. That's a fun one. All right, so we're doing 30 seconds, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. All right, we got the swings. The swings are gonna be 30 seconds each side, all right? Let's get ready, grab your heavy dumbbell or your kettlebell. We are gonna swing in three, two, one. Let's get it. All about the glutes and hips here. Nice flat back. So try to just stop at shoulder level and go too high with that arm. Three, two, one, set it down slowly, get ready for the other side. Get those 10 seconds. In three, two, one, here we go. Got 10 more. Five, four, three, two, one. Set down. Hip thrust pulse. One glute squeezing. And go. Little pulses, strong glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Grab your dumbbells now. Lunge, curl, overhead press. Three, two, one. Here we go. So stay low. Got 10 more. Three, two, one. All right, that's our circuit. We got two more sets. Get ready to swing. One, two, three, go. Swing it. It's only a 10 second break. You guys gotta be ready.
Ten more. Three, two, one. Step down. Other side in ten seconds. One, two, three, go. About 10 more. Keep using them legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Hip thrust. You can also do a bridge if you want. Pulses. Three, two, one. Here we go. Small range of motion. All about the squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, lunge, curl and overhead press. One, two, three, go. Got ten more. Three, two, one. All right, we got one more round. Then we'll take a big break. Back to our swings. Woo! One, two, three, go. Glutes are on fire. Hitting those glutes hard today. All right, we got 10 more on this side. Three, two, one. Get ready for that other side. Almost there. One, two, three, here we go. Got 90 seconds of work left. Let me get that big break. Got ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're pulsing. Burn those glutes out. One, two, three. Burn them out. Burn them out. Feel that squeeze. We got those lunges next. Don't we'll take a big break. 15 more. Squeeze it even harder. Five, four, harder. Three, two, one. All right. Lunge, curl, and press. Get ready, get ready. One, two, three, go. Oh, I got sweat in my eye. Twenty more. Fifteen. Ten more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, finish your rep. All right, take a break. Woo! That's a good one right there. Some great glute work. 
Get some water. Nice sweaty one. It's hot outside. Celtics playoff bound. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know about this here. No Jalen Brown. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so circuit number two is going to be mo uh, all over body. So you're going to want your heavier dumbbell or even your kettlebell would work. We're doing what's called a, a saw row. So it's like you're sawing wood. You ever done that before? So I want you to put your hand on something, right? A chair or couch, whatever's nearby. Bend those knees just a little bit. Puff your chest up, get that back nice and flat. So in your starting position, that uh, dumbbell is right underneath your shoulder. I want you to drive your elbow up, pull it towards your hip. Go from shoulder to hip. And if you ever saw the wood before, it's just kind of the motion, right? And while that elbow is coming up, you're trying to pull that lat inward. Pulling that shoulder blade down and back, right? We're doing 30 seconds, both sides. Then we got push-ups. After you do your push-up, you're gonna come up into a down dog position. Try to touch your toe. If you're tight like me, you're gonna touch your shin or even your knee. Just get that motion, hips up and reach, right? Then we're gonna burn your shoulders out, more shoulders. You're gonna sit on the floor. Um, you have two options here. You can hold one dumbbell in each hand, or you can do one. One dumbbell, both hands. But you're in a seated position. You wanna make sure you have a nice big chest, abs tight. Don't let your back round, right? Try to keep good posture. If you feel those shoulders starting to round, I want you to take it up, do it standing, make it a little easier. No rounded backs there. Nice big chest, abs tight. All right, we've got the rows first. Should be easier than the first circuit, right? Remember, try to squeeze those lats. All right, get in position, get your big heavy weight. One, two, three, here we go. Feel that squeeze. Ten more. Three. Two, one, all right. Do 10 seconds, we'll do the other side. Three, two, one, here we go. Trying to puff your chest up throughout the movement, keep that back flat. Halfway. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Down to the floor. Push up. Little toe touch. If you want to modify, you can just do the toe toe tap portion. One, two, three. Go. You can skip that push up, right? Whew. 
Got 10 more. Three, two, one. All right, take a seat. Burn them shoulders out. Three, two, one. Press. Woo! Oh boy. <laughs> Got ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Woo! Back to those roads. One, two, three, go. Remember, shoulder to hip. Shoulder to hip. Got ten more. Three, two, one. Other side in ten seconds. One, two. Three, here we go. So make sure we're breathing. Inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got that wrong. Other way around. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Woo! Where's my coffee? Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Three, Two, one, push up, tap. And go, push up. Remember, you can skip the push up here. Do a hill tap, do a plank, keep alternating. Halfway, keep it moving. That good stretch. Three, two, one. Going overhead. Burn out the shoulders now. Oh boy. One, two, three. Here we go. Halfway. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Now it's no joke, man. Throw all that other stuff. All right, we got rows. You got one more set. One, two, three, go. Shoulder to hip. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Or whatever, just breathe. At this point, we're all dying. Just don't hold your breath. Ten more. Big chest. Three, two, one. On the side, a little bit. Getting there, folks. We're getting there. One, two, three. Here we go. Feel that lat, right? That's what we're targeting. Big slab of muscle outside your back. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, push up, tap. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Three, 
two, one, go. Halfway, guys, keep pushing. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now my arch nemesis. Overhead presses down here. Last one, though. Three, two, one. Here we go. Give it all you got. Just doing core work next. Woohoo! Here we go. 20 more. Big sprint. Well, not really a sprint because overhead press is relatively slow, but keep pushing. 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. All right. Take a break, y'all. We got core work next. We get to lay down. Yay. Yay. It's a good workout. All right, we're keeping the 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Three rounds. All right, first one we're doing on your back, hands under your butt. I want you to hold your chest and shoulders up. So it's like a little crunch. Keeping your chin tucked in. Legs up. We're doing flutter kicks for 15. 15 seconds. Then we're gonna switch scissors. Legs in and out for 15. One leg goes over the other. Make sure you alternate that leg. 15 seconds each. Then second exercise is gonna be a hollow body hold. So it's a similar position, right? You're keeping that crunch. Legs up off the floor. And I want those arms up, right? Lower back stays pressed against the floor, right? If you feel your lower back arching, you wanna modify your position. So, you can make it easier by keeping everything higher. Hands by your sides, also easier. All right, so abs tight, lower back stays down. 30 seconds. Then our last one is gonna be rolling plank, right? Like an alternating side plank. But we're gonna add three dips, right? So, you're gonna go one, two, three, roll. One, two, three, keep alternating, keep rolling, right? It's one one. That's a fun one. All right, so let's get this core work done left so we can, we can go get our lunches. Doing great for time. All right, number one. Flutter kicks and scissors. 15 seconds each. One, two, three, go. So up and down. Remember that little crunch? Chest and shoulders up. Keep that chin tucked in. Keep going. Three, two, one, switch it, we got scissors. You going? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, hollow body hold in ten seconds. One, two, three. Here we go. Lower back stays down. Hands by your sides a little easier too. If you wanna do that? Legs up is easier. Halfway. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. All right, rolling plank, three dips. Woo! And go. So one, two, three, flip over. One, two, three, flip over. One, two, three, flip over. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Two more sets there. Have her on fire. <laughs> All right, flutter kicks. Go. Remember, you can definitely rest when we need to. Five, four, three, two. One, scissors. Keep going. Three, two, one. Hollow body hold. That's the killer right there. These hollow bodies. And go. Pick it up. Got 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! No joke right there. Roll and plank, three dips. One, two, three, go. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. One more round. 90 seconds of work left. Flutter kicks. One, two, three, go. Last one. Last set here. Switch, scissors, Ten. Nine. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Hollow body next. Three, two, one. Here we go. 60 seconds of work left. 20 more, come on. Almost done. 15, come on. Hold it, squeeze your stomach. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, roll and plank. 30 seconds left. One, two, three, get it. We all done after this. 20 more. Here we go, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. Woo! Woo! What a fun workout that one was. All right, grab some water. We'll stretch in like thirty seconds.
What's fun? All right, get your yoga mats ready or your pillows. That was a tough one. All right, we're gonna kneel down. We're gonna do our hip sequence. Hip flexor, hamstring, then pigeon. About 30 seconds each. So left knee down first, right leg out in front. You're gonna squeeze that left glute. Hips go forward. So you go from here to here. Hold it for about 30 seconds. Keeping that butt tight. That's gonna help your hip flexors relax. Squeeze that left glute. All right, now we'll straighten out your front leg. You're gonna grab your right foot with your left hand. Or you're reaching for your right foot with your left hand. All right, just like gravity, pull your chest now, just hang out. Not a care in the world right now. Then next up, we're gonna drop down to a pigeon. All right, so you're gonna bend your front leg, straighten out your back leg. From here, you're dropping your chest down as much as you comfortably can. So you can be up here, you can drop it all the way down. Just hang out, 30 seconds. If a pigeon's uncomfortable for you, you can do a figure four. All right, you can do a seated figure four. If you don't know what that means, send me an email. Breathing, relaxing as much as you can. All right, let's do the other side. Hip flexors first. And so right knee down, left leg out in front. Squeeze your right glute. Drive your hips forward. Squeeze that right glute. drop your hands down right still squeezing that glute letting your hips fall to the floor it's a good one too and if you're really flexible you can take it down to your elbows oh which I'm not <laughs> all right straighten out that front leg Reaching for that foot with your opposite arm. So you should be grabbing your left foot with your right hand. Or trying to. Make sure we're breathing, all right? Try to inhale for about three seconds. Same thing on that exhale, three to five seconds. You wanna relax as much as you can while you're stretching. All right, pigeon or figure four.
next up, we're gonna do a butterfly stretch here. Sitting down, feet together, sliding your feet close to your body as you can bring them. Grabbing your feet. From here, you're gonna flatten your back out by puffing your chest up, so nice big chest. Eyes forward, just relax here. Let those knees fall to the floor like gravity. Pull your knees down and breathe. Just relax. Like gravity, pull your knees down. Nice flat back. Or as flat as you can make it. All right, next up, we're gonna sit on your heels. All right, so legs together, knees bent, sitting on your heels. You're gonna have your hands by your sides here. Stretch out your quads and your shins, or your, yeah, your shins. <laughs> your tibialis anterior. All right, hands by your sides, you just lean back as much as you can. Also make your feet a little bit wider here. Here, it's a little more comfortable sometimes. Still got it. <laughs> All right, take it up nice and slow. Up to a standing position, nice and slow. We're gonna do one more stretch. You wanna grab a yoga strap, a band, even a stick, a broomstick would work. All right, so grab your object. Wider your grip is, easier the stretch will be. You wanna make it tougher, use a closer grip. All right, but you wanna keep your arms totally straight and bring your object directly behind you. It's gonna feel a nice chest and shoulder stretch right here. If you want more of a stretch, closer grip. If you want to make it easier, make it less intense, widen your, widen your hands out a bit. Give it about 30 seconds, then we're done. slowly bring your hands back to center release the stretch and that is it i hope you enjoyed the workout i'll catch you guys next time enjoy your lunch Woohoo!